the subtle act of not giving a fuck the subtle act of not caring so much one thing i want to say is once you stop caring or once you stop thinking about what people are going to say oh what are people going to say when i show up or what are people going to say when i show up looking like this or what are people going to say when i wear that or what are people going to say when i do that once you stop thinking so much about all of that that's when you're going to start showing up as your best self that's when you're going to start showing up as your most confident self because you know what every time you show up you will not care what people think and once you start doing that once you get to that stage it's literally so beautiful okay coming from someone who is um, a recovering people pleaser is what i like to, to call it i think generally as women you know we're thought to present ourselves in a certain way we're thought to sit in a certain way eat in a certain way you know your hair cannot be unkempt all of those things are really pretty i mean yes they make us women but really and truly women are generally thought to sort of people please okay because especially as african women majority <laughs> majority okay the truth is majority of women are trained to believe the end goal is marriage to believe the end goal is to please a man to believe the end goal is that everything that you're doing in the end is going to be to be able to please some man you know so women in general i feel like we have always been thought to people please you know do what the world thinks that is good a lot of these things are good but then a lot of these things also sort of always put you in a place where you're constantly thinking of what people have to say about you you're constantly thinking about what people would say if you act in a certain way if you talk in a certain way if you know if you just generally carry yourself in a certain way what are people going to say sometimes it's not even from a place of people pleasing sometimes you graduate okay i'm not even kidding sometimes you graduate to where now it decides literally everything that you do every single thing that you do you're looking for some accolade you're looking for some praise you're looking for someone to cheer you on when you're not even doing that for yourself which is the issue which is why i'm here today okay i do want to talk about the subtle act of not giving a fuck the subtle act and i say that with all respect the subtle act of not caring so much about what people have to say about all and in a good way okay don't get me wrong when i say don't care about what people have to say it doesn't exactly mean be one like nonchalant in everything obviously you can't go around doing stupid things and expect people not to say something right but everything in your life being so dependent on what people think and what people have to say and what people oh what would their remarks be like basing everything in your life on that that is the issue because then you never really show up as yourself you never really do anything that you like what do you think about what you're doing you know like what do you think about the way you're showing up what do you think about the way that you carry yourself do you like it are you okay with all of that then why are you thinking so much about what someone is saying now personally for me um i recently sort of got that light bulb moment where i'm like why do we care so much about what people think because coming from someone who is a recovering people pleaser and overthinker uh, and sometimes I say to myself, I'm not even overthinking. I'm just analyzing things, right? And I think that everybody has their own way of overanalyzing things. So if you're someone who is an overthinker, obviously there's a lot of things that's like running through your mind. Like whenever there's a situation, you're looking at this in five different ways. Like your mind, your mind is constantly on overdrive. You're probably having issues sleeping, you know i i have been there okay again i'm someone who's recovering I'm, I'm someone who has had to teach myself a lot of things i'm someone who has had to learn you know like use the resources that i have to know that it's okay to not overthink things okay because if you're an overthinker most likely you're the type of person who's always trying to fix situations you like to have control over situations that's why you think about things as much as you do and trust me i'm there i do it too or i have been doing it and i'm trying to get out of it so i know exactly what you're going through and with that being said that would mean showing up 
in the best ways possible. So if you're going to be showing up as your best self every single day, that would mean not caring about what people would say. Because once you start to think about what someone would think of the way that you're showing up, then you're never going to show up as yourself. Okay, you're never going to have the opportunity to even experience what it would feel like if you were 100% yourself. Trust me, and you're missing out. That's that's I feel like that's the main thing that I really do want to say. If you never show up, if you're never showing up fully as yourself, if you're constantly thinking, what are people going to say? What are people going to think? What are people going to do? Da, 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 then you're never going to give yourself the chance to experience what it really feels like to be 100% yourself. Okay. I need you to give yourself that chance. What if I allow myself to live vicariously <laughs> as myself? Okay. Like you have to have the right to be a little audacious, not even a little have the audacity to live 100% as yourself and just see what that looks like. See how that makes you feel, you know, like see what it will feel like if you wake up every day, not thinking about what someone has to say. If you wake up every day, being a little audacious and just making yourself a little happy by showing up as yourself like this is what I want to wear today so I'm going to wear that this is how I want to wear my hair today so I'm going to wear it I'm going to do a little bit of makeup today because I want to not because someone wants me to do makeup not because someone says oh don't do too much makeup you do too much makeup da, 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 da. no I'm gonna wear that makeup because I want to wear makeup okay and it has nothing to do with you I'm gonna always do red nails because I want to do red nails it's just who I am it's what I love I am not gonna be doing something that someone is doing because that's what's trending because that's what makes someone looks cute yeah if I if, if I feel like it's cute and I want to try it for myself don't get me wrong I will try it if it works out I will keep it I will add it to what I have to do or what I do for myself okay and even with these things that we um I say in my videos or in the podcast obviously I want you to listen and see what works for you and keep that obviously you don't want to be listening and saying that because this is what I'm saying this is what you're going to go with listen to what I'm saying which parts do you vibe with the most that's the part that you want to go with okay you don't obviously want to say because I am saying this you are just gonna go with that i need you to give yourself permission to live a little okay that's all i want to say give yourself permission to live a little give yourself permission to show up 100 percent as yourself give yourself permission to enjoy what it would really look like if you lived a little audacious okay i keep saying a little because i want it to sound as like respectful as i possibly can as 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 demure as it possibly can sound because i don't want it to sound like i don't want it to sound like egotistic like you know um disrespectful like you're setting boundaries in a way that's like no i'm gonna show up as myself and if it wraps you off the wrong way then sorry not sorry you know what i mean like i'm gonna do what i want to do regardless of what you think i'm going to show up the way i want to show up regardless of what you think but very respectfully okay very demure very cutesy about it okay it, it's so funny it sounds so simple but like that is truly one thing that a lot of us are missing out on okay we're missing out on the fact that we're caring so much about what the world would say what would the world think when I do this what would the world think well, what do you think my love what do you think about what you're doing what do you think about the way you want to show up what do you think do you like it enough does it make you happy does it pay the bills does it make you comfortable is it fooling your passion you know does it make you confident these are the type of questions that you should be asking yourself not what is this person thinking what are they gonna say you know like what do you care what they're gonna say what do you really care build a life that makes you happy so that when you're older you're not regretting and saying i wish i did that i wish i did that because you didn't allow yourself to live you didn't allow yourself to do the things that you truly wanted to do you lived the life of doing things that people thought was healthy for you people thought was what you should be doing when you had things that you wanted to do okay so yeah i hope that that at least gives you permission to not give a fuck <laughs> allow yourself to do the things that you want to do because you want to do them okay thank you so much for coming by i'll see you in my next one
Bye.